What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master One and welcome to my analysis of the new Spring Banner. So we have got Spring Bernadetta as our first unit and she's a Blue Bow Cavalier and she does have, you know, some things similar to her Winter Alt. So she's got Bow of Repose as her preferred weapon and this weapon does have minus and special cooldown built into it and if she's at full hp then she does one damage to herself and the allies within two spaces so that is something which is similar to winter bernadetta that friendly fire one damage and if you've seen my etherates videos then you know that that's a very very useful tool for getting into the wings of mercy range of your gale force allies and for you know just the vantage strategies so she's definitely going to be really good for etherates offense for that purpose and then she's able to get plus 5 to all of her stats in the combat. And she also gets debuff on foe, speed, and defense. Depending on the number of spaces moved by whoever initiated. Times 2 plus 3. So it's pretty much like a clash condition. And this can go all the way up to 11. So she can debuff the foe, speed, and defense by minus 11. Which is definitely quite a lot. And keep in mind that this does count the spaces moved even when you teleport. So Escape Route 4 is going to be having good synergy with this kind of effect. If the number of spaces moved or if X is greater than or equal to 1, then you're going to be able to get damage reduction on foe's first attack by 30%. And if the X or if the spaces moved is more than or equal to 2, then you're going to be able to get the half version of Null Follow Up, which allows you to bypass any kind of follow-up negation effects and you also get the half tempo effect which is the offensive version so it's pretty much null guard and being able to ignore the guard skills is going to be really helpful offensively so this bernadetta is definitely much better than winter bernadetta when it comes to the pure combat because of getting this half tempo effect and half null follow-up so she's definitely going to be able to get the kills a lot easily on many of the units and she's also there with the friendly fire one damage to enable the wings of mercy strategies and the vantage strategies and all of that so she's definitely going to be a really useful unit for that utility and then she does have remote sparrow in her base kit and also comes with the tier 4 version of escape route so when the unit is not at full hp then you're going to be able to get canto 1 and that is definitely pretty helpful for the movement and it does inflict minus 3 attack and speed debuff on the foe in the combat and if the unit is not at full HP, then you can basically move to a space adjacent to any ally within three spaces. So that's definitely pretty nice for the mobility again. And if the HP of the unit is at or below 60%, then you can move to a space adjacent to any ally. So this can definitely be pretty helpful for hit and run strategies in Etherate's offense with like double fury builds. And this is definitely going to be opening up those strats because it is going to be giving you the canto effect which is definitely pretty good for hit and run and the threshold being a bit better now is definitely pretty nice so i really like the tier 4 version of escape route 4 i really wonder what they're going to be doing with wings of mercy 4 eventually and she does have defense rest smoke 3 as her slotsy skill so that is going to be spring bernadetta definitely is going to be having a lot of value for etherate's offense for enabling those strategies like i mentioned and she herself is going to be a pretty nice unit in the combat because of getting that half null follow up and half tempo effect. So that is definitely going to be pretty great for her. And then we move on to Spring Triandra. So she is going to be a dancer and she is a colorless tome flyer. So that is definitely pretty unique. And she still has her frightful dream as the preferred dance skill from her fairy version. And she's got Nightmare's Egg as her preferred weapon. So this gives her plus 3 speed and if she uses her dance skill then the target ally does get full penalty doubler and also the allies in two spaces of that target. So it's pretty much like she's giving the effect of panic smoke 4 to the target ally and the allies within two spaces and she also inflicts panic on the foes in the coordinate direction of the unit and the target. So that is really good because you're going to be able to get the debuffs from Frightful Dream and then you also get the debuffs from Panic. So you're going to be able to make great use out of Foe Penalty Doubler status effect. And she gets plus 6 attack and speed in combat if she's at or above 25% HP. So she's going to be functioning as a pretty nice support unit for giving that Foe Penalty Doubler status effect. And it can definitely stack up with the Plagian effects or the Plagian weapons or the Vulture weapons. So it's definitely going to be pretty helpful on those units for example. Um, like male morgan for example so she's definitely going to be a really good dancer with those kinds of units and she still has the frightful dream which is basically a ruse dance giving the minus three debuff to all stats 
and the guard effect on the foes in the cardinal direction and also um you know just refreshing the target ally and they also have the tier 4 version of the dance skills now so we have got firestorm dance 3 which so it's a much better skill now and if any kind of refreshing skill is used it enables counter one status and also gives plus six attack and speed and the desperation status to the target for one turn so this is definitely pretty helpful on any kind of dancer and because this is a 300 sp slot b skill we're definitely going to be seeing this quite a lot in arena as a high scoring skill on many of the dancers like duo peony for example um and it's definitely going to be really helpful on many of the dancers again the opportunity cost is going to be there compared to wings of mercy but still being able to give the desperation status and the canto status is a huge thing after you know dancing an ally it definitely is amazing and she also has defense rest hold as her slotsy skill so spring triandra is definitely going to be a pretty nice utility dancer for giving that support a full penalty doubler and also giving the status effect with her firestorm dance 3 and then we move on to the four star focus unit of this banner which is going to be spring ash so he is a dagger flyer actually red dagger flyer which is also pretty unique class so he has got an inheritable dagger which is definitely um, a good thing for many of the dagger units who wanted a new weapon so bunny's egg plus is the inheritable dagger here with 12 might and at start of turn if the unit's hp is at or above 25 percent then he can get plus five attack and speed in combat and also reduce damage from foe's first attack by 30 percent so it's pretty much like the remote sparrow kind of weapon where you can get the damage reduction on foe's first attack and you also get attack and speed so that can be a decent weapon um, as an inheritable and then he has got rally up speed plus attack speed catch three and also attack speed drain three so attack speed catch three being on a four star focus is definitely pretty nice when we have got so many attack and speed catch four units and divine codes four so that's definitely nice to have so if you do get him then it's going to be a lot easier for you to get the tier four version of the attack and speed cat skill from the divine codes units and another premium skill from them so that's pretty good so far only new or liar had that skill but now we have got spring ash with the skill so he's going to be the four star focus without a preferred weapon um and he is going to be providing some nice fodder here with his weapon and also with attack speed catch three um as a four star focus and then we move on to the star of this banner which is going to be a harmonic unit carla and freya definitely not appearing i expected honestly but uh yeah carla getting another alt so this is an axe cavalier um and they are definitely going to be really powerful with the sisterly war axe so this has got minus on special cooldown so draconic aura becomes a two cooldown special and you actually get minus two special cooldown at sort of odd turns so you can basically pre-charge your specials which is really really good so you can just have a pre-charged draconic aura or have a pre-charged luna and that is definitely going to be contributing to you know shredding with the other part of this weapon so they're going to be able to get plus six attack and speed in the combat with this weapon and also deal true damage based on x percent of unit speed when the special triggers so the x depends on maximum special cooldown count multiplied by 10 and then added by 20 so the true damage is definitely going to be helpful and then if the unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally and triggers a special excluding the aoe specials then they can disable the damage reduction skills and also disable the defensive specials like Escush and Pavis and stuff like that. So they are definitely going to be really helpful in shredding through the damage reduction skills of many of the units. Definitely not of Lucia though because she's going to be preventing any kind of special. But yeah, piercing through the damage reduction skills and also preventing the activation of the defensive specials is definitely going to be pretty nice. And it's going to be making them a really solid cavalry nuke. Especially in something like summoner duels where they can just go in and attack with like a pre-charged luna and take care of the front liner of the opponent's team and they're also going to be helpful in etherate's offense um functioning as a gale force unit because they do get minus two special cooldown at sort of the combat and also in etherate's defense with that pre-charged special and being able to just pierce through the damage reduction is definitely going to be unique um especially for a melee unit and they are going to be able to do that whenever they can trigger their special and it's definitely going to be easy to trigger the special when you can basically pre-charge it on the odd turns which is going to be turn one at sort of every map pretty much so that is uh that is harmonic carla with freya and their really solid weapon 
They have got Draconic Aura, Attack Speed Clash 4, Flow and Trace, and Speed Smoke 4 in their base kit. So definitely a pretty solid Cavalry Nuke here as an Axe Cavalier. And it's definitely going to be hitting pretty hard with that true damage and piercing through any kind of damage reduction. We can also see their base stats here. So base 47 speed, which is really high and also base 45 attack. So offensively, they're just absolutely stacked. So here they've got their harmonic skill, which is only going to be active for the Blazing Sword units and also for the Heroes units. And this does give minus two special cooldown count unit and allies from the same titles and also gives the plus six attack buff and resonant blades effect to the unit and the allies from the same titles. So yeah, just being able to pre-charge specials even more is going to be, uh, you know, definitely pretty strong uh, with this kind of harmonic skill, especially in summoner duels where you can easily use these harmonic skills and you're not going to be hindered by the duo's hindrance in uh, something like Ether Raid's offense. So definitely a pretty nice harmonic skill and overall a very strong unit. So here they're going to be triggering their harmonic skill, getting the pre-charge specials on themselves and just taking out this opponent. So yeah, definitely a very strong unit here as an Axe Cavalier. And we don't really see that many Axe Cavaliers um, as, the, you know, these kinds of nukes. I mean, we do have Summer Dimitri, for example, um, but he cannot really pierce through the damage reduction like they can. And on this batch, we're actually going to be getting Spring Michaelis as the Tempest Trial unit. So he's probably going to be having the weapon similar to Ash, which is actually not that bad of a inheritable weapon, getting the offenses and getting the damage reduction. So Spring Michaelis completing the Arcanea um, units in their spring versions, the White Wings, Minerva, and then Spring Maria getting her spring version. And then finally, we have Spring Michaelis now. So yeah, another time, Michaelis is a great unit. So definitely looking forward to his stat spread and what he has got in his base kit. Uh, just for the fodder so that is going to be the banner and this banner is definitely going to be lasting for quite a while um like any kind of seasonal banner going to be lasting for an entire month and we're going to be seeing the hero rises banner before this so you can definitely plan with your orbs and this banner is going to be nice if you want a axe cavalier as a nuke who can pierce through damage reduction and if you want to have you know spring burn Adetta for enabling the gale force strategies or vantage strategies with that friendly fire uh, damage so that is definitely going to be the main selling point of this banner and why people are going to be pulling on this banner and of course if you have any of these characters as your favorites then you're definitely going to be you know trying to get them so yeah let me know in the comments what do you think about this banner and if you enjoyed this video please be sure to leave a like and a comment helps you tremendously and if you really really enjoyed you could always support me directly by using super thanks down below or by becoming a youtube member and for more free videos make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because YouTube set boxes are about as functional as Carla's damage reduction piercing against Lucia. So that's it all to you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.